Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villarreal, and today we're going to be talking about where I think 11 of the top free agents in the MLB free agency are going to end up signing. These are the top 11 free agents, in my opinion, and we're going to talk about where they will sign, in my honest opinion, and let's get right into it. We're going to start off with Masahiro Tanaka of the New York Yankees starting pitcher and I think he's gonna re-sign with the Yankees I just cannot see him pitching for a different team I think he's going back to the Bronx up next we got Nelson Cruz and aging DH and I think he's gonna re-sign with the Minnesota Twins I just don't see where else he would go I don't see a team other than Minnesota that could really use him and I think that He's going to end up back in Minnesota and continue to be a locker room veteran, a locker room leader for that Minnesota Twins team. Up next, we got Oakland A's closer, Liam Hendricks. I think he's going to the defending World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. I think he's going to go to the Dodgers and kind of replace Kenley Jansen as that Number one closer for the Dodgers. Up next, we got Marcus Simeon, the shortstop for the Oakland Athletics. And kind of like Tanaka, I just cannot see Marcus Simeon leaving. And I think that Marcus Simeon and Oakland, they're going to work out a deal. And Marcus Simeon is going to be staying in Oakland and continue to play for the Oakland A's. Up next, we got Marcelo Zuna. The Atlanta Braves outfielder, and I think he is going to the Texas Rangers. The Rangers obviously have that new ballpark in Arlington. And last offseason, they added a lot of talent. The Rangers, they're trying to be contenders, and I think they're going to continue on that way of trying to become World Series contenders. And they're going to add Marcelo Zuna to their roster. Up next, you got George Springer, who's most likely trying to leave Houston because of the whole controversy. Everyone hates Houston. Everyone's on Houston's case about the trash can banging scandal. I think he's going to try to leave Houston. I think he will leave Houston. And I think George Springer is going to the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies have a habit of adding top talent. They have one of the most talented rosters on paper. It's just putting that talent together on the field to win that the Phillies have struggled with. And I think that they're going to add George Springer in the outfield to pair with Bryce Harper. Up next, you got DJ LeMahieu, who is on the Yankees, been playing amazing, but I think the Yankees are going to let him walk, kind of save some salary cap to make a huge signing elsewhere. This offseason, or maybe even next offseason, but they have Glaber Torres that can play second base. And I think that the Yankees are going to let DJ LeMahieu walk, and he's going to go to the Los Angeles Angels last offseason. They went and got Anthony Rendon. They obviously have Mike Trout, and I think the Angels are in win now mode. They're going to add a very talented second baseman, an MVP caliber player, and DJ LeMayu to their roster to try to get them to the postseason and even a World Series. They're going to try and win a World Series right now in the upcoming years. The Angels are, and that's why I think they're going to go out and sign DJ LeMayu. Up next, the top free agent, in my opinion, the best pitcher in all of baseball, Trevor Bauer, a lot of people say he's going to the Dodgers. I think he's going to the Dodgers rival, the San Diego Padres. Number one, Trevor Bauer doesn't seem like a guy to go to the big market team like the Dodgers. And also, number two, I think that he's going to sign with the Padres because his good friend Mike Clevenger is on the Padres. And I think that he's going to go to San Diego and help them get over the hump and end up trying to win a World Series. I don't think he's going to the Dodgers. A lot of people say that, but if he if Bauer goes to the Dodgers, he's going to look like a Kevin Durant 
where it's a great player going to a team that can win without him and trying to ring chase. And I don't think Bauer is someone that would try to ring chase. I think Bauer is someone that wants to go out and beat the best team. And if you join the Padres, our travels with the Dodgers, they'd be looking to dethrone the Dodgers. And I think that he would rather try to dethrone LA than try to join LA. And I think that's why he's going to San Diego to pair up with his good friend, Mike Levenger. Up next, we got JT Rila Muto, and I think that he will be signing with the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta, a very talented roster, but they somehow cannot win in the postseason. And I think that they're going to try to make a big move to help them win in the postseason. And that big move is going to be signing JT Rila Muto to replace Travis Darno as the starting catcher for their ball club. Up next, we got Marcus Stroman. I think he's also going to the Dodgers. I think he'd make a really good number three in the rotation behind Clayton Kershaw and Walker Buehler. I think that's his talent level is a number three pitcher. And I think that the Dodgers would love to add someone of the talent of Marcus Stroman to their roster. And I think that he's going to the Dodgers. Everyone says the pitcher the Dodgers are going to sign is Bauer. I disagree. I think it's going to be Marcus Stroman. And last but not least, Michael Brantley. I think Michael Brantley is going to end up on the White Sox. Was on the Astros. I think very similar to George Springer. He's going to try to get away from Houston. Get away from the trash can scandal. I think that he is going to join the White Sox and kind of be a mentor to the young outfielders, Lewis, Robert, and Eloy Jimenez. I think that Brantley, veteran, going to try and be a mentor and a leader on the south side of Chicago and help the White Sox try to finally get past the wild card round and try to help the White Sox have success in 2021. And that is all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content.